topic today. One is you're going to be able to identify of coterminal sides. A coterminal side is we're always going to start with if you want to call it east, but it's zero, is zero degrees, is my reference that we always start. And then where you end is your terminal side. Sounds kind of terminal, doesn't it? All right, so that's where you end. And if it's a plus direction, you go counterclockwise. If you start at zero and go the other direction, clockwise, it's considered a negative. So this is negative 45, this is positive 45. So when we're talking about coterminal, we can say, all right, this is zero, this is 120 degrees, but you could also say it's negative what? 240. Negative 240 degrees. That, those are coterminal. So you can go the positive direction or you could go the negative direction and get the same thing. And the way I did this is I went 360. Well, I took 120 and subtracted 360 is what I got for the negative 240. Right. So we can do this for, you know, you can do three, four, you can do an infinite number of these. Let's do three, and then I'll just give you a couple to try. So um, here's 60. Start at zero, and we get to 60. So one side is 60. Now another side is going to go in the negative direction. Negative what? 300. Good. Very good. All right. Now let's get one more. Now to get one more, you could go 60 and then go around the loop one more time. So if we have 60 plus 360, what are you going to get? 420. Okay, let's keep going. Add another 360. That would be 780. Add another 360. You'd get a thousand three sixty four. So eleven forty, right? And you know you could just keep going forever and ever, forward or backward. Okay. So here's what I would like to do. I would like you to take this number two here. Three and four and find three other ones, three other ones, but one of them has to be, two of them have to be positive, and one of them has to be negative. Okay. And so see if you can do that. Oh, let's just do two here. Let's do, um, let's just do two and three. We'll just do these two. So you're going to find three, two positive, one negative. So for this negative 225, if I add 360, I'm going to get 360 minus that, I'm going to get 135. Does that sound right? Yep, and then if I add another 360, I'm going to get 5, 9, 495. If I subtract 360, now I'm going to have 5, 8, negative 585. And so these are three coterminal angles that you're going to have. By adding or subtracting, how much? 360. Add or subtract 360. You got it. Okay, let's do this with 540. Let's subtract 360. And uh, one of them I'm going to get will be 180, right? And then subtract 360 again, you're going to get negative 180. Subtract 360 again, you're going to get negative uh, 540. I like that one. Nice, reasonable problem to have. Well, that isn't your challenge. The challenge is, is what if you don't have degrees? Degrees are made up. What about radians? Well, radians are exact same thing, except instead of adding and subtracting 360, 
how many radians in a whole circle? 2 pi. So you're going to have to get common denominators like 4 pi over 2 or 12 pi over 6 or 6 pi over 3. You're going to have to use those fractions to get these equivalent coterminal angles. So if you take something like pi over 6, here's 0, the reference angle, and you go up pi over 6, we're going to get another one. You're going to add 2 pi. So let's add 2 pi, or 12 pi over 6. What's a coterminal of this one? 13 pi over 6. I'm going to write 13 pi over 6. Pi over 6, 13 pi over 6. Let's add another 2 pi. Add another 12, you'll get 25 pi over 6. And now we need to subtract to get the other direction. We'll get a negative 1. So it's just negative 11 pi over 6. You got it. Very good. So those are my four values that are equivalent to pi over 6 using coterminal idea that there's 2 pi or 12 pi over 6 in a complete loop. All right, let's do this. If you are on this side of the room, you're going to do number two. If you're on this side of the room, you're going to do number three.